Hey guys, welcome back to Shiny Bright Doggo. My name is Laura. And I'm Janine. And today we are going to a community-wide yard sale. It's a little bit different for us. Yeah, it's exciting. The garage sales around here are hit or a miss, really. Um, usually a miss, but we're hopeful and optimistic that we're going to come away with some amazing vintage treasures. Um, if you guys are into vintage collectibles and reselling, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But uh, let's head out. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's going to be like 95, so. It's crazy. It's a great day for sales. It is. Let's go. Laminated die cuts. Too bad they're laminated. Emergency rescue decals. Cute. Uh, Some microfiber cloths. And um, well, Halloween goodie bag. Little okay. uh, witch jiggler. blue molds here they have the eggs for dollar 75 which i've seen before but none of these carrots blue mold carrots for 75 cents i think i'm gonna have to get it pile out there what's in there cute it's like a tapestry mm. i don't know if she's gonna take it what else did she find Ooh, a scooby-doo playhouse that's fun. I don't know what we do with it though. I don't know. I don't know. She can't hear me. Up to you. It's up to you. You decide. What? I don't know. It's fun, but I don't know what we do with it. It's up to you. That's fun. Scooby Doo? Yeah. Open it back. Hello, Santa. But he's looking at his boots. He's cute though. Huh. A little Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Oh, how cute. That's adorable. Something interesting here, Jimmy. Yeah. Very cool. Let's see what Janine's picked up so far. Halloween 5, I'm on Elm Street. Dead pit, that's cool. Halloween 3. Okay. 
So Janine got a, a lot of horror, of horror VHSs, which we know are very collectible. Seems like they're a lot from like uh, uh, rentals, like movie rental places, but really cool stuff that you don't see every day. So I'm really excited. Yeah. Do you have any in here that you know are like resellers, like good resellers? No. <laughs> Halloween? I mean, I mean maybe. Yeah. We'll have to look them up. I mean, I know there's a lot of good names in here. Mm. A little dusty, but he hasn't he hasn't watched them in years, I'm sure. Yeah, it was like his collection. He had so many. Wow. Good job, Jane. Oh, and we paid um four dollars for all of them. Yeah, I think Steel. it was a good deal. Yeah. About to pull up to this house with the pods over here. Um, I think I saw some salt and pepper shakers, I think, out of the corner of my eye. So we're gonna go and check it out and I'm hoping they are there and I hope I'm hoping that they are uh actual salt and pepper shakers. Let's go. Oh they're so cute. How adorable. Little snowmen. And Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And the turkeys, gonna have to get them all. The fish are cute too. Huh. Where? The mushroom? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put the phone down so I can take these. Okay, so finding vintage ceramics, all the pepper shakers like that is a first for us at a garage sale, so I'm very, very excited. What do you think, Janine? Cool. That was a find, wasn't it? Yeah, look at the little baggy of them. <laughs> so we're heading to this garage sale right here for listing so there's a lot of vintage stuff but we're pretty late to the game it's like 12 o'clock now so we'll have to see Pick up Janine to comics. I really like this one because it's like you know, a devil and a snowman, snowman, so Cute. It's a little hot stuff, little devil, and uh, yeah, thanks, snowman. All these Hot Wheels sets, Hot Wheels sets. Oh, uh, yeah. it's fun. Got some swizzle sticks. What? What? The ice crusher. Remember we talked oh, about the ice crusher with the little snowflakes. Love it. What is this? It's like plastic. Huh. Made in Hong Kong. Different. Yeah. Oh, trying to be a whole tower, but not really. It's by Rita. Not really doing so well. Hmm. What is that? Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? What is it? Like it's a light and a blower. A oh, light and a blower. That's cool. Different. Very cool. Very mm -hmm. cool. That's cool. That's cool. This is nice. This looks like an older stand. Like cast iron. $40. We're in this garage. Oh. 
These are all older. This one has a plastic cap and it says West Germany. It's probably right from after World War II. It was so that you didn't need the bolt, the nine volt. Mm. You turn it into a mm -hmm. plug. Mm -hmm. There might have been some vintage Christmas here earlier in the morning. Also, just the um, door. Love it. Hey guys, so Janina's not with me right now because she is getting together our vintage magnets for our What Not Sale tomorrow. If you guys don't know, we are having a What Not Sale tomorrow. And we were selling off like 95% of those vintage magnets we found. So if you want more info, make sure to check out the description in this video. We'll have a link to whatnot, how to sign up, and um, we hope to see you there. But let's dive into the mini haul. We don't have a ton of stuff. Um, Janine did pick up all those amazing horror VHS tapes that she's going to go through and definitely give us an update on what they're worth. I don't know. If you guys recognize any of them and know if they have a good resale value, definitely leave a comment. But if not, we'll do the research ourselves and let you guys know. But yeah, let's dive into those salt and pepper shakers. In terms of clothing, I picked up two pieces. I saw this, you know, Santa Coca-Cola shirt, saw the tag, thought it was vintage, and then flipped it over and saw it was marked 1993. So this is an older vintage t-shirt, which I'm just going to keep and wear for myself. I thought it was really cute. I also picked up this really cute, like, vintage 80s, 90s floral tank top, which I thought was super cute. Would look really cute with some, like, jean shorts. And the clothing at this garage sale was really cheap. This was only, like, I don't know, 75 cents or something. And the t-shirts were only 25 cents, so that is a bargain. But getting into the salt and pepper shakers, we have some pretty good ones here. My eye was scanning those garage sales, and I was excited to come across one that had vintage salt and pepper shakers. Starting off with these two, we've got our classic Mr. and Mrs. Claus, and these are really exciting to find. I found these before, but usually the red paint is flaking off a lot more. These are pretty old. They are made by Napco. You guys can see that Napco sticker, and it is a silver Napco sticker, which means these are probably right from the mid-century, 1950s, 1960s. Usually when you find old pieces like this, the red paint comes off a lot, and that is because the red paint was applied after... These were glazed and fired in the kiln, so it's prone to chipping off. These are a really nice vintage example of red paint that's pretty well intact. These can resell for $15 to $25 depending on the buyer, so this was a great find. This is the classic vintage snowman salt and pepper shaker set. They do not have a maker and they have the more common blue made in Japan sticker, which probably means they were made by a like generic ceramic company, not a Napco not a left in, but they're really cute. Um, I do have pictures that look very similar to these. Same type of snowman character, and they are made by Ralpo. So unsure about these specifically, but they're also just really cute and would resell for a similar price as Mr. and Mrs. Claus. This is the classic Santa and his packages salt and pepper shaker set. This is maybe the most common set to find. Um, probably from the 60s, early 70s, if I had to guess. Not a huge resale value, but a great piece to come across to start your collection. And we got the turkeys. Now these turkeys are really nice. They are actually candle holders. You can see they have their little holes at the top to hold tapered candles. And these two are actually Napco. You turn them over and see that Napco sticker. Now you may be wondering why this Napco sticker looks different from this Napco sticker. And that's because the silver, as we talked about, is the older mid-century sticker. Whereas this red sticker is a little bit newer. And by newer, I don't mean you know, in the last 10 years. I mean, this is probably from the mid to late 60s, early 70s. Still definitely vintage, still definitely collectible. But when you do see those two different Napco stickers, that's how you can sort of differentiate age. So yeah, these two little candlestick turkeys are really cute. Um, they don't have a huge resale value because they're a turkey. Thanksgiving isn't as collectible as Christmas, but they are just beautiful. The color, the mold. So these could probably resell for 15 to $20 as well. So yeah, that about wraps it up, guys. Thank you so much for joining. We hope you had fun joining us in these garage sales and estate sales. We'd love to see you at our whatnot sale tomorrow. Even if you're just dropping by to say hello, we always appreciate the support. So thanks for joining us, guys. We will see you next time. Bye.